Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I'm standing inside of greenhouse number one inside the nursery that I just purchased a couple of months ago. And I just received word that the guys who I hired that are gonna replace all the polys in the greenhouses are coming tomorrow morning. And Brad and I wanted to use this opportunity to move the stone that I had delivered here, to move it inside this greenhouse because it's gonna be the new flooring in here. And we wanted to do that right before the polys were replaced because we wanna kinda just dump it in over the side wall. So that's what we're in here to do tonight. We have just a couple of hours to do this and get it done right. That's gonna involve us moving everything away from here. We're gonna actually lift up the poly and then Brad's gonna use the tractor bucket to dump it right inside in those rafters and up here. And obviously we don't want any too much weight up against the cinder blocks. So we're gonna try and, and dump it all the way along the wall here as far away from the inner wall as we can. The plan was to rent a small machine to move the stone in here once we dropped it in, but the poly guys, they're coming a week early because the weather is so nice. So we don't have that machine here. When it comes to actually building this floor, that will require the machinery and we will be renting that machine. But tonight, we're gonna be doing this with the tractor bucket and my shovel. Here is the stone pile. I just started taking the wiggle wire. My hands are filthy. It's really gross. It's just been on here for years, so there's all this um, buildup inside. So I just took the wiggle wire out. The wiggle wire is what holds the plastic down. Uh, Brad's inside moving stuff around. And then I'm gonna open this up. How are we gonna keep the plastic back? Get a staple. Okay, that's how we're going in. We obviously could have taken the plastic completely off, but that would have left a lot of our goods vulnerable. So we wanted to be able to put the plastic back down and put the wiggle wire back in so nobody got in and took any of our stuff. And anyone who has access to greenhouse number one has access to the retail space. So we wanted to make sure we could shut it up after we were done. So Brad ended up using staples to staple the plastic onto the rafters. That way when we were done, we could just fold the plastic back down and attach the wiggle wire again. No, I mean, it's good. Like you're three feet away from the wall here. As you can see, Brad is actively dumping buckets inside. We're able to basically fill up to the, the algae line, really. That's when um, the ground is, um, that's when the ground stops and then the cinder blocks. We don't want to put too much pressure up against the cinder blocks. So Brad said we can safely put up to the end of the green blocks with the stone and then he'll move down along the line. To be honest with you, this project is easier than he thought it was going to be. He is a nervous wreck about it. He was so worried. And I told him, listen, it's gonna be a lot easier than you think. He was worried that the stones were gonna be too heavy for the rafters. I said, I don't think it's gonna be. He goes, oh, they're gonna break. I said, I don't think it's gonna be. So um, I'm always the, the optimist in the relationship. And Brad's the pessimist, but hey, we balance each other. She wants one.
I look great here. <laughs> look at me. You can't see me. I'm in complete shadow. I'm Job's done. I'm helping. We're here. You're all done. We Thanks got for sticking pile. around. <laughs> see ya. Bye. It took roughly two hours to move all of this stone from outside to in here. And now this is a project we can tackle in the upcoming months. We didn't, we don't need good weather since this is indoors to finish this floor. We are going to rent a piece of equipment to move it around. And hopefully this is 20 tons. The guys at the stone store calculated what we needed for in here and they said this should be enough. So hopefully we don't have to bring any more stone in. You guys see it behind me, there is new poly and these guys that I called in, they're the Williams brothers and they have a farm that's ironically called C&J Farms out of Constantia, New York. And that's the same name as Jake's farm way over on the West Coast. So there was some confusion uh, between farm names, but this is the C&J Farms in New York State and they're the ones who so awesomely came and changed all of the poly for me. So the rest of this video is going to show the professionals replacing all four of the polys here at the nursery. And in this poly part of the video, I'm gonna show you more of the process. So it'll be more of what's happening and less of me talking. I thought it was really awesome to watch their whole entire process. And to be honest with you, these guys, they have a huge growing operation where they live. They grow 20, thousand hanging baskets and the fact that they were here and this whole entire thing took them six hours okay so they showed up and in six hours they were done okay so they know what they're doing and the whole entire time I was able to kind of be a little birdie on their shoulder asking them a whole bunch of questions about how they grow things what they do they said they thought that the crushed stone I was making the right move with the flooring they said it's much better than having a concrete floor they also gave me some suggestions for when I rebuild number two and they said they agree that the best house that I have is number four that's really set up for growing I made plans to go out to visit them in the spring to see their operation they have 19 greenhouses that are twice the size of each of mine. So their grow operation is quite large and they're gonna be an amazing asset for me when it comes to rebuilding greenhouse number two. They're actually gonna be helping. So I'm very excited about that. So here's more of the process of the poly going on greenhouses one, two, three, and four. So they just kind of tuck in there? Oh, oh, they are. I don't think I have duct tape, but I definitely have zip tape.
it is two o'clock and they just finished. <laughs> they just took off. They finished a little bit ago, but it took them a while to clean up. There's new poly on all four of the houses. I'm so excited. They just turned the blower on. So this is gonna take a while to fill up with air, but the blower is very important because it helps to keep the, it basically keeps the house insulated too. And it helps slide the snow off. Just turn the blowers on in number one. So I can see the air moving inside of it. That should be a big bubble here soon. And I was at talking to him. He said he leaves them on 365 days a year. Wants to see that bu bubble see the air moving inside of it because there's zero wind today so that's definitely from the blower look over here no movement that fan has not been turned on yet i did forget one of the polys and that was a mistake on my part this atrium section i didn't order new plastic for and that was my fault but this one actually does bubble up there are some tears in it but we have repaired it um, so I think it should be good for this year and then we'll have to replace it next year. I know it's hard to see on video, but this, it really, it's a buoyant bubble on all four of them. We do have to trim, which we, Michael, my cousin trimmed that. We do have to trim the extra still, uh, but it's going to look amazing. It really is exciting to see brand new tops on all of these. You can actually see through them now, which was something you couldn't do before. And here's a look at number three in the daytime. Uh, we still need to replace the sides, which we are gonna do, uh, but I just love the way the door looks. I love the way the windows look. I love the way everything looks. So the last thing we have to do here is put siding up. It's getting windy out guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Being in this business just a few months in the, the greenhouse nursery business, I'm finding that there are just so many other people out there who are willing to help you and they want to share their knowledge. And it's just a really good community I'm excited to be a part of. Okay, so new floor, new poly, <laughs> new floors, new roofs. <laughs> We're on a roll here. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon.